Assalamu alaikum my dear students hello how are you all hope you are doing fine by the grace of almighty allah welcome to nivs home school this is ariful islam assistant teacher of english national Adult english version school today i am going to take an english literature class for class 3 students our today's topic is unit 4 monday morning so open your book buzzword class 3 page number 36 Open this book. So let's start the class. Unit 4, Monday morning. So in this story, we have three characters Tom, his younger brother Sid, and their aunt, Aunt Polly. It was Monday morning. Tom was feeling very sad. He hated Mondays. The beginning of a boring week. He lay thinking in bed. He wished he was sick. Suddenly, he noticed something. One of his upper teeth was loose. He immediately thought of pain. He began to groan. So what is the meaning of groan? Make a deep, long sound, showing great pain. But Sid, Tom's brother, continued to sleep. So Tom groaned louder. Sid stressed and sat up and looked at Tom. Tom, what's the matter? Asked Sid. He shook Tom. Oh, don't, Sid. Don't shake me, Tom moaned. Why? What's the matter, Tom? I will get on Polly. No, never mind. Don't call anybody, groaned Tom. But Sid was already gone. He ran downstairs and said, Aunt Polly, come quick. I think Tom's dying. Dying? What rubbish, said Aunt Polly. She ran upstairs with Sid behind her. When she reached the bed, she asked Tom, what's the matter with you? Oh, auntie, my tooth, it hurts. It is loose. Tom, you scared me for a minute, said Aunt Polly. Scared means afraid. Sit, get me a silk thread and a tongue of fire from the kitchen. So the meaning of tongue of fire is a piece of firewood. Tom said, oh no Aunt Polly, don't. Don't pull the tooth out. It doesn't hurt anymore. I don't want to stay away from school. So all this fuss was because he wanted to stay at home and go fishing, asked Aunt Polly. So the meaning of fuss is complained about something not very important. We'll move to next phase. By now, the tools were ready. Aunt Polly tied one end of the thread to Tom's tooth and the other to the bedpost. Then she took the tongue of fire and pushed it towards Tom's face. Tom jerked back and the tooth was dangling from the bedpost. Jerk means made a short, sudden movement. But all travels have their rewards. As Tom made his way to school, he became the envy of all the other boys because of the gap in the upper row of teeth. So the meaning of envy is a person who other people admire. So now we will look to the word meaning. Word meaning moaned means made a low, long low sound of pain. Moan means made a long low sound of pain. Tongue of fire, a piece of firewood. Dirt made a short sudden movement. Now we will look to the synonyms and antonym. Word, synonym and antonym. Immediately, immediately means quickly. Synonym is instantly. Antonym is late. Plan, synonym scheme. Antonym improvise. Scared, synonym frightened. Antonym fearless. Now we will look to make sentence. Number one, more. Tom was moaning sitting on the bed. Number two, stay. 
Tom said that he didn't want to stay away from school. Number three trade. And Polly tied one trade to Tom's tooth. Remember one thing. You will not have to follow these sentences. You can make your own sentences as you wish, but you have to maintain the subject verb agreement and you have to have a meaning of the make sentences. Okay? Now we will move to true and false. Number one, Tom was very sad on Sunday morning. False. Why false? Tom was very sad on Monday morning. That's why it is false. Number two, Tom wished he was sick. True. Tom planned to stay away from his school. This is also true. So question answer. Number one. Why was Tom very sad on Monday morning? Answer. We will take the subject from the questions. Subject is Tom. After the subject comes verb. Tom was very sad on Monday morning. As the question starts with why, we will add because. So Tom was very sad on Monday morning because he thought that it was the beginning of a boring week. Number two, how did Tom plan to stay away from his school? So again, we will take the subject, Tom. And as this question starts with did, we will answer the question in past indefinite tense. That's why after subject, verb will be past, past from. Tom planned to stay away from his school as the question starts with how we will add by in answering the questions so by pretending that he stood hurt answer is Tom planned to stay away from his school by pretending that he stood hurt number five we will not read three and four question number we'll move to number five when Tom went to school what was wrong with his upper row of teeth answer when Tom went to school, there was a gap in his upper row of teeth. Now, the most important thing is your SW. Look very carefully, SW is unit for Monday morning, word meaning and synonym antonym. You will do SW only, word meaning and synonym antonym. And your submission date, 7, 6, 20, Sunday. SW copy return date, 10, 6, 20, Wednesday. So you are requested to do the SW at home and submit on Sunday and you will return the copy on Wednesday. So my dear students, I hope you have understood to this topic. Keep practicing at home. Have a very parents. Stay well. See you again. Till then, Allah Hafiz.